Well, false information turns out travels six times faster than the truth and reaches far more people on Twitter. MIT researchers found the average false story takes about 10 hours to reach 1,500 users. It takes about 60 hours for true stories to do the same. And what's interesting here is it's not bots that are responsible for all this. Researchers say it's humans who are spreading the bogus stories. Interesting. Connie Guglielmo, the editor-in-chief at CNET, joins us now to discuss what was a 10-year study. So they went into some serious depth on this issue. They did. The researchers at MIT looked at Twitter, over 120,000 stories, and then they looked to see how many of these dubious stories were retweeted. And as you noted, the <coughs> Falsehoods traveled way faster than the truth. So what does this tell us about human nature? Because I think we were under the impression that, okay, well, there are these bots and there's a zillion of them and they're spreading this stuff around. It's not the bots, it's, it's the humans. So this was a 10-year study that ended in 2016, and we've really seen the rise of bots in the last year or two. So we need another study to now understand the effect of bots. So don't write off bots. but. This study looked at what was causing all of this misinformation to spread in its people. And there are, I think, two big reasons that the researchers found. Number one, when you see the truth and you're inundated with it all day, it's kind of just, you just kind of gloss past it. And when you see something unusual or interesting or that evokes an emotional reaction, you want to be the first to share it. Or you say, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is true. Holy cow, did you see this? And you want to share it immediately without really taking a moment to say, wait a minute, yeah. is this really true? Yeah, I was going to say, you know, it's like the old story, if you see a sale or something, if it's too good to be true, it probably is not true. But in this case, you touched on it. Is it the fact that these stories typically generate so much more emotion than some dissertation of facts? Is that what get, is it the emotional part that causes people to hit retweet? Well, I think that is a big part of it, yes. Uh, you want to be first and share something with your network. Otherwise, why are you on Twitter? Certainly, the tools make it super easy. I mean, you can just hit that retweet right. button. There's no, uh, let's have a panic button in between. You can just automatically hit and retweet. So you're probably doing it before you even think that you're doing it because you're just kind of like going through your feed and hitting buttons all day. It's super easy to, to share that information. And then again, it, it is something that evokes an emotional reaction from you where you say, if you're scanning your headline and you're reading one headline after another, and uh, in the case of this study, a lot of the false information that was spe spread was politics, which invokes right. an emotional response in a lot of people. And you see something that is really just, wow, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I got to let everybody know. You hit the button. All right. So now that we know this, and the bot factor is another thing we have to add on top of it. Because, that's right. All right. Th th that's, that's additionally horrifying. But uh, <laughs> let's take the first part of this. What do we do about it now? Well, there are, as an individual, think before you retweet and know who the source of that news is and don't be fooled into thinking that you're retweeting from a legitimate source. I mean, at CNET, there are occasionally false sites that get set up with misspellings of our names, CNET with two Ts. And you think that maybe you're retweeting a legitimate source, but you're not. So know what you're doing. Take a second to check. And then the other thing is from a platform perspective. I just mentioned these tech companies right. have made it super easy for us to hit the retweet button. And they don't go out of their way to verify or give us any kind of a visual clue. Is this somebody who's legitimate? Is this a bot? Is this you know, a site that has a very poor record of telling the truth? That requires them to do some work, so. to look at sites and to rate them or rank them or provide some transparency about whether they're legitimate or not. So responsibility on both sides. Absolutely. Connie Guglielmo, thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure.